Hi, it's Andrew Hill from Sydney and proud to be part of the Between the White Lines Summit. And um, as a master coach from Sydney based in Australia, uh, it's a pleasure to be on this and uh, something like this doesn't happen. So a big thank you to Mark and Emma and I've been so impressed with all the speakers. So uh, just starting with that because uh, we just want to continue on with some great ideas to share with all the coaches out there. So my talk to tonight, uh, it's, it's actually one o'clock in the morning, how to put your tennis centre at the centre of the community. Now, as a tennis coach, that's why we're here, but um, it's a little bit more than that. It's about, it takes a community uh, that actually gets all these things working together. So business communities, schools. So my club is a forecourt club, but it's full. And it's full nearly from the start of the morning right through to night. We, we turn the lights out at 11. And the trick is to attract different markets at different times. So what was the big thing? What was the big magnet that would allow these sort of things to come in? So that's what I'll be sharing with you. Now, I do have a slideshow here that I've got. And uh, I've been in the game 40 years. And I class myself as a tennis entrepreneur. I uh, have a lot of ideas. and and But... The thing is I put them down and I share the ideas. So I've been at the Sydney International Tennis Centre since Sydney 2000 and, and I'm still there. It's actually the 20th year coming up and we're still celebrating in Sydney. It's probably the best I've ever seen Sydney with all cultures, all ages all coming together. And that's sort of a little bit of a, the elements that we need to talk about today. There's things that can attract people to your centre and hold them at your centre. And I was listening to Javier the other day about not, don't think like a pyramid, think like a cylinder. And the base of the cylinder, you want to track people in and they retain so that uh, you've got these straight lines up the edge and you can increase the amount of people visiting your centre. Uh, one of the worst things would be to visit and to not like it and go. But uh, those things happen, but the idea is to try and retain and that's what makes your business work really well. Now, I've put my email there as well, ajh at ajhsports.com.au, and love to be able to communicate with people all around the world, and through this platform, so uh, what we've created with the summit is just the start of connections and making a tennis community, an international tennis community. So I'm going to get straight into what I'm talking about today, and as an entrepreneur, we had uh, created a program called the STARS program. Now, think of a star as a sun, and suns emit energy, warmth, and brightness. So that's the first thing, that we should be standing out in the community. And one of the best parts is to attract. So they're attracted to you through this magnetism. And it's, it's amazing. We actually use a smile. We use a few different things that actually help our tennis centre become part of the community, but then it gets bigger than that. So the idea behind this is STARS actually stands for School, Talent, Area, Region and State. And it's a pathway from your local school right through to Sydney Olympic Park. And every holidays, we don't have little camps, we have massive camps because we have these star mascots and, and we'll show you how that works. There's some things that we do for free to get their attraction. And then uh, there's other bits that are camps that you would possibly all do. And where most tennis coaches in Sydney might be happy with 30, we're, we're getting 300. And we actually have a product that we share with other coaches. And we'll go through that and show you how the whole thing works. So this is nearly like a blueprint. You could actually do it at your own centre. Now, this comes down to a, a key part about how do we communicate with kids. And we created a Stars TV. It's a TV show. It works on any screen. It works on your phone. What's really good is we can go into a school. They have these big boards called smart boards. We can actually bring this up in the school because we're ticking a few boxes. Now, they're not tennis boxes. They're getting kids healthy and active. And therefore, we're invited into the school. And so instead of bringing them to the club, I'm allowed to present in a school because we're ticking off those sport programs that would actually help kids develop boys and girls as part of their syllabus. 
So we actually have this catchphrase, which is if you catch the stars, which are the mascots you can see at the top, you can have a high five pre-COVID times, but we actually share smiles and um, we do a photograph of or a video of what we're doing. And the whole concept is these kids then get to see themselves having fun, which actually promotes positive self-analysis. Uh, you know, they, they start to see themselves having fun and they share it with their friends when they're smiling and it actually works out pretty well. So going back to those letters, the STARS program, there's a lovely little package how it all sort of fits together. But the school is, now I'll just go back two slides. So the school, we do things like we do teacher in service days where we go in and show children how to play games, but we actually do it with the teachers watching. So they're actually getting in service training. We sometimes visit the schools for their fates and everything we do, we're always dressed as tennis coaches. When we come in, there's always a mini tennis net and some tennis activities on any of the events in the school. So they might want a soccer gala day. There's a bit of tennis as a side action. Uh, you always accept the contract and we always add in tennis uh, because that's really our core thing, just to make people have a go. And uh, it's amazing we get the parents joining in and the kids and it works out really well. When they do a sports carnival, we do the same thing. So a sports carnival, it could be athletics or a swimming carnival. Now, we still have rackets uh, that can be played in the water. And we're doing volleys in the air just with foam balls. So the idea of tennis and rackets can come into anything. And uh, at school, it's a, nearly a captive market where some of you would be working in schools. You don't really have to do any marketing. What happens is the kids just come to the classes. Where we are, we actually visit schools and do programs. We visit high schools. But um, we go in and we fly the flag and our business card is a sticker because we're working with kids. So they collect a sticker and we even suggest stick it on your fridge and come to our next camp in the holidays. Some of these kids will travel a long way to come to a camp. But uh, after school tennis, you normally would go local and uh, we can actually help coaches all over Sydney, all over Australia. And as you'll see, we can help coaches like yourself in different countries because the STARS program is something that can be, a, it's a system that can be copied to stimulate more people playing tennis. Now the T, Talent ID. When we do Talent ID, it's focused on tennis, but we focus on so much more. And we're trying to say in Australia, have a go, do your best. And with tennis, it's a very simple pathway, but it's an individual sport. Going back to the schools, if I go in just as a tennis coach, I have to wait in line behind all the other sports, possibly team sports. When I do the STARS program, I go to the front of the line because I'm ticking a whole lot of different elements that can develop a child through gross motor. And we actually focus at preschool, so three to six. And we're playing a lot of games, a lot of color and helping them starting to get that love of tennis right in the early stages. And if the presenter looks like a tennis coach, uh, it's amazing how that loyalty and that brand idea of tennis is out there. So that's something that we've been doing. And we, we started in our local area and we started going to all our clubs and shops and parks. So if you imagine a satellite system, once again, you know, there's the star and the suns, but the satellite system is all the schools, and I'll just say five, five schools we visit one day of the week and we do some talent ID, all the kids play in their school. And then in the weekend, they all come and do a inter-school challenge. And it's, that's why it's full all the time. We have the mini nets. Now I mentioned to you before the mini nets we designed a long time ago. Uh, and the idea was to get every kid could have a mini court at home and practice on their driveway. So that was the original concept behind the mini nets. The mini rackets and the foam balls were designed to, so we wouldn't break a window. And uh, also the noise of the ball at, at home could annoy your neighbors. So everything was designed to take tennis back to the home. 
When it gets to the school, the mini nets come out and they play off for the school star who's going to represent them. But the main thing is everyone is welcome, but the stars go into a different part of the draw. And it's amazing how uh, you can have your supporters, you're playing for your school, not your country, sort of like a bit of a mini Olympics with a tennis theme. Now, we have a special thing. One of the uh, ministers that we have here is John Alexander, who is number eight in the world for tennis. And he asked me to come in and write a program. And it's called the Benelon Cup. And it's table tennis. So 40 schools in our area were all given table tennis tables. And it's perfect in our extreme heat, but it's also great on wet days. And the kids do this program in their, in their school. And then there's one particular day where all the schools come together, the best of the best come in and they play off for gold, silver, bronze medals. And it's exactly the same model as the tennis. Now, John is a visionary and he also added in another segment. He said, we could actually show these kids some of the stars or some of the champions from all the different countries. Now, in my particular area, my community, there's Chinese, Korean, Caucasian, Indian, and they all work together. And one of the best things is we bring everyone together through sport. With the table tennis, all these cultures came together, but John's vision was he invited the top players from China, Korea, and Japan to come to our area called Benelong. So the kids played in the morning, or they played all day, and when they finished, the top players around the world came into the same environment that they were at and they started playing for a test match. Now that has, we're actually in the 11th year, so it's been growing quite well. And with a good program or a good structure, you can actually clone it and actually do it in other areas. So we, our next thing might be Benelong versus another region. So it can go further and then we could even be doing something where it's a kids table tennis international tournament. And listening to um, David Fish on UTR systems and, and grading systems, it's so simple to apply that into the school and kids can assess where they're up to and then just keep trying harder and harder and then go out of the school. Now, we actually do that at our local shops. So where mum and dad go shopping, they leave the kids, we have tables in there or we have little mini nets. And in the past, some of the people who have played mini tennis with us, one, Ivan Lendl. Uh, some of you might remember Johan Creek from South Africa. And we just played in the mall and not on a real tennis court, but on a modified court. And it's amazing to draw people in. And then the kids got to challenge the champions, more of a promotional thing, a bit like a tennis expo. So the idea is we use the local shops and we actually get paid by the local shops to attract people to, the, to their area. And mum and dad do the shopping, mum and dad then get lunch there. We can link in with a whole lot of specials. So the, the shops idea is quite a good one. I definitely recommend it for your local area. And uh, local kids support the local shops and the shops support the kids. Uh, with the clubs, the idea is to making my club the center of the community is to attract them back to my club. Now, I have some friends who are in other areas, and the trick to this is to get local schools to feed into local clubs. So then we might meet in the holidays. I'll do a meeting at his courts with my kids, and he'll come to my, uh, my courts, and we'll do a home and away. But we use the holidays as a means to get all the kids together. And a lot of these programs I'm talking about, especially in the current environment of COVID, they're safe because table tennis and tennis have that space. Uh, we don't just do that. We actually do a whole lot of modified sports. And as you'll see, we'll talk about court sport later, where we can turn a tennis, a tennis court into an arena of fun. So our next one is from the area, we go to the region. So in our regions, we have a, a business system and we have a council and the council pays us again to go to the local park and put on these events. Now, one particular thing is called the Granny Smith Festival. If you've all tried a Granny Smith apple, 
that comes from my region and we have a Granny Smith Festival. We have 100,000 people who turn up and there in the streets is tennis. We've got tennis and table tennis next to each other and the idea is for mum, dad and the kids to play. But it's one of the best promotions and when they have a go they get a sticker and they can then cash that in and have a go at our centre. And the sticker just points them exactly to where I pointed you to the website and they can book in and have a go and continue on that pathway. So that cylinder, I'm now attracting a lot more people through the cylinder into my club and you would normally, you're at full capacity. What we do is we definitely use the club system, but we then go outside our club and that's how you can draw people back to your center. Uh, you walk down the street, you go to the cake shop and you've got your number written on your top and you're looking good, you're looking happy. That's a promotion just in itself. My car has my number on it everywhere we drive. When we do these council events, I'm allowed to park the car right in the key spot. So in all the photos is my car and my logo and that does attract other people. So when we do these community events, we probably wouldn't get the event if it was just tennis. So I don't want to try and uh, focus on just the one thing, but we're focusing on the total community. We've got special needs. We've got a group called the Keenagers who are older and active, and it goes right down to tots who are three to six. Something for everyone and come in and have a go. And then through having a go, they might come over for soccer Next thing they're having a go of tennis and that's really what the idea is to try and share some of that passion out there. Uh, the last one is state. So we're very lucky to have Sydney Olympic Park. I was the head coach at the tennis centre and all the other centres were seeing themselves as Olympic centres so the cost was high. What we did at our centre, we dropped the cost a bit and we attracted so many people. Now, when I finished at my tenure as the tennis coach at Sydney International, I never left Sydney Olympic Park and I copied the programs for these other centres and introduced the community. They would come in from 10, 20 kilometres away because they were coming to the Olympic Park, but there were these games and activities which I'll show you very shortly. So that's how the whole thing works. It's a pathway. And... The special events, Sydney Olympic Park hosts these amazing events. We do like the Australian Open, we have the New South Wales Open and we get invited to bring a whole lot of kids and we play like a mini tennis game and that's purely tennis. But we also get a lot of events, special events with soccer, football and when the finals are on, they're drawing in massive crowds before COVID and our job was to keep all those kids healthy and active and tie them out a little bit so when the footy starts they'll sit in and watch the watch the match so sydney olympic park has been excellent for us and it comes down to good programming and we just share that with the local community and we share those communities so instead of just my club i've now branched this idea out a lot bigger and you can actually do this in any state and we could actually link together all right, so going back through Stars TV, everything is on the TV. So it sort of has channels and I'll, we'll talk through how it works. So this is just a, a very nice picture. It's about shapes and you'll see where the shapes come in. So there's circles, squares, triangles and stars. So the who, what, when, where. And when you put it into the TV, the who. So here's all our age groups, three to six, right through to special needs. The who, the what all the subjects. Now tennis is part of PE and PE it goes into sport and then one of the sports is tennis. But we actually do these other things because in the passive time we can do like a kids game show and you'll see where this leads. Our tennis camps in the holidays are an episode of Stars TV. Now down the bottom with the squares we have the 12 months and we just use colours for everything and even when we're on court. And up the top are some of the activities that we're doing and, and we'll come back to those. Instead of changing people, we, we even developed a different shape. 
shaping the world a smile at a time. And the sports star does have this positive energy, um, but the who, what, when, where works the same way. So the who, the what, what shape, the when, and the where. So it has sort of a double entity that it can work through. Uh, with my team of uh, sports coaches, we have amazing people who have great skills, not just in tennis, but they uh, can look after kids and it's all part of the training. And we have these real young ones who actually are also young leaders. They actually learn on the way. Uh, most of these people who have worked with me have now become school teachers and I've supported them through uni. Some of them are high school students and you're helping them with their sport. But then they get a chance to get up on stage. So the Sydney Christmas Parade had 200,000 people. Is it a tennis event? No, it's a Christmas event. And there in the corner is the tennis court and all the mums and dads uh, are playing tennis with Santa hats on. So the idea is to change the theme of tennis and make it accessible to everyone so they can um, think, oh, all right, well, I've got a Christmas present, I've got a tennis racket, now I know how to use it. So none of this works without a good team. So we actually do a weekly training with all our coaches. And some of them bring in creative arts, they're dancers. So we actually do footwork. Um, and th there's so many other things, and that's called integrated education. So that's something that we do a lot in our system. Now, one of the areas is sports star. And, and we talked about this the other day uh, on, on one of my previous talks on modified sports and modified tennis. Learn the skills, play the games. This is free, and this is something that Myself as a coach, I give to all my local schools. Now, when I'm working for someone else in a different community, that coach gives this to the local schools. And it's because there's 15 sports, there's skills cards, 12 different languages. Of all the university students I work with, they actually take this back to their countries. And I'll show you some of those countries very shortly. There's picture cards. And it's just showing the key points of some of the things that we do. Tennis is in there, we've got table tennis, but when you go to the tennis link, it actually just has everything in a tennis theme. But it's interesting, they start to have a little look around other things and then branch into tennis as well. Uh, a lot of these cartoons were actually written by the high school students. So their skills are amazing and we look after the teenagers and hire them to do other things and they also play tennis with us. So some of them can do a tennis theme within drawing or whatever. With the Sports Star program, we do a whole lot of sports, golf, hockey, cricket, badminton is, you know, a racket sport. We've got our normal tennis under a parachute, football. A lot of these things can be brought back onto your tennis court and we can attract a lot more people. So percentage, 5% of kids might be playing tennis. 100% of kids are playing sport, or very close to that. And we attract the masses, and we give them a chance to have a go at tennis. So there's, they're on a tennis court, they're with tennis coaches, the tennis nets are already set up, they're playing other sports, and they normally won't just come and do one thing, because they have short attention spans, they have uh, high energies in short amounts, so they can swap around and have a go of all different things. Uh, at the start and at the end of the day, the star characters come out, give them a high five, and they do a photo, and that photo goes on Stars TV. Those kids share that photo, and you'll see some of the statistics. We just hit 12 million hits on Google Maps with our photos, and it's not what we do, it's how we're sharing, and you'll see that soon. So the events, we actually get some a massive amount of events, uh, Christmas events, uh, New Year, and we have something, uh, a couple nearly every month. So the idea is to keep in their mind, and it's amazing. When we walk around, people gravitate, that idea of attraction. Um, when Santa Claus comes out and he's got his bag of lollies, the stars are next to him, all the kids are coming over getting photos. Sometimes Santa's not there because he's waiting for his big entrance. We're doing before and after meets, and the kids are loving that. Uh, it's sort of taking a bit of a stress out of it. We do Australia Day. We do an amazing Australia Day uh, with the Aussie stars visiting 
key areas. And with COVID, we just have to be more cautious with some of the sports that we use to uh, spread out those those crowds. With the where we are, I, I showed you this one. So Australia Day, if you want to have a look at the video, there's a lovely video there of different communities. And these are like small city communities, which are, uh, we've got Sydney, but uh, we go around and, and visit and we play the Catch the Stars, Be On Stars TV. At the moment, there's a, a video there of the 20th birthday of the Olympics. And today we actually, we're in Sydney Harbour on a jet boat, actually this one here, and we had the Paralympic torch. So my backyard or my playground has this dish, which is a cauldron, and there's this lovely green area where all the kids can run around and have fun. Now I mentioned this was this was before the Olympics. We hit 12 and a half million hits, and it's because the Olympic torch has so much energy and they share these photos. But we are having an impact on tourism. We can say we're going somewhere, you can come and catch the stars. We actually use Instagram on our website and share those photos and people like them. But the effect is one kid posted on his one and that's liked. That's why we're getting these massive numbers. So we go through mainly these areas, but there's other areas that we're going to which are on a long way away from my actual centre, but they copy the same model and do the same programs in their own zone. Now, I gave you some of these in my last talk, but the best ones for here are sportsstar.com.au. This is free, anyone can give it out. It shows you that a tennis coach is caring about his local community, especially the kids. It makes a great rapport with schools. Uh, one of the funniest things is watching a star get up at the assembly and the, and the principal allows me to go in because we've created this rapport. But the sports monitor, the, the kid is up there waving to all his friends. He's feeling like a superstar. And all the kids are laughing and, and waving, but they don't recognize him because he's got a star suit on. So it works quite well. All those photos are then put on Stars TV and it's shared. And every holidays we create this kids TV show about being healthy, active and creative. Now, tennis has those three things in it. You can be healthy, you can be active, creative. I can do a drop shot, I can do a lob. It, it just feeds the brain with so many good things. So tennis is such a good sport that you can actually activate all these things. And the whole idea, it actually started through tennis, but I wanted to attract bigger communities and uh, that can feed back to my normal community, which still runs, but I'm actually doing that off and cloning it off in these other areas. And to have the idea of going into shops who, you know, it's a very um, high end area, like I'd have to pay to go to the shops, that's totally reversed. They're paying me to come into the shops and actually entertain the kids and attract the kids to the shopping centers. So um, there's a few of these free things on tenniscoachacademy.net. And I keep saying the word free a lot because I'm sharing that passion out to all the coaches so that you can do it in your own area. So you could definitely call me and we can sort of work out uh, how we can help you in your local spot. Now, I'm just going to...